Tadam! Alright, so we are back here in Batangas. Okay, so for today we are making coffee outdoors again. We are outside the house. <laughs> so not really outdoors. <laughs> we brought in our outdoor kit. So we are using the bike kit, the bike and brew kit. Um, let me just prepare everything, alright? Since we have a wooden table here, um, I'm gonna be using my camping table for safety okay this is my camping table that i normally bring when we're doing bike and brew it's a simple um, titanium table which is very light this is the brz 3000 yeah, it's a very small stove you unfold it like this It attaches directly to the canister. So this is your cooking stove. Right. And then we have our Hario Bono 500 ml. The very small kettle. I'm just gonna get some water. Yeah, of course I brought my special water. Why special? Because the water is, my, my coffee water is mineralized by Calibrate. Yeah, Calibrate coffee. I'm going to heat up my water first. Right. Next is, I'm going to prepare my coffee. So this is our scale. It's the Hario scale from the Hario scale mug. It works with the magnet. So the scales, um, the scales actuation is magnet. So it's really nice because if you travel, it's really nice because if you travel and you keep it um, locked, then you don't have any problems with it breaking down. We have our Easy Presso Q Air. So I'm just going to go ahead and weigh my coffee. The coffee that we're using today is from Leaves Coffee from Japan. This is Colombia Finca San Luis. What's nice about this coffee from Leaves is they have a suggested recipe at the back. Here it says here, perfect balance with 13 gram dose, 200 grams filtered water, medium coarse grind, and the gooseneck kettle at 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're gonna use a medium coarse grind, which is around 23-24 on the Easy Presso Q Air. And then we're gonna use a 90 degree water. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and grind our coffee. I'm gonna prepare my dripper. So for for this um, brew, we're gonna use the Oria v4 with the apex bottom then i'm gonna use the aeropress go cup as my server okay and then when we're gonna do the thirds fold and i'm just gonna go ahead and pour water onto this to prepare it i need my thermometer to check the temperature because right now it is boiling hot. So let's put the coffee grounds in. Okay, remember when you do this, when you rinse your water, don't forget to, of course, throw out the rinsing water. Now we're just going to wait for our temperature to be 90 degrees. Now, when you are out in the wild, or actually even at home, um, there's something that I discovered when you are brewing, wait, waiting for your kettle to cool down. So this part here, it actually has um, water that has a lower temperature. So what you do is preheat even the gooseneck, like throw some water out just a bit to make sure that the gooseneck, <laughs> to make sure that the gooseneck is as hot 
as the kettle inside so you don't get um, thermal shock I'm really enjoying this um, Aurea Apex with the conical filter and right now I am pouring really slow very slow that I don't even have a um, complete stream I don't even have a complete stream of the water I'm breaking it on purpose right at one minute we're gonna pour another one this time you wanna turn the bed upside down then shake it even after doing your second pour because you want all the gases to come out you want all the gases out of that coffee bed and then at 1.30, we're going to do another pour. This time, I am breaking the stream again. And I'm pouring up to 170 ml. And then at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, we're going to do another pour. Our last and final pour to complete the 200 ml water. As soon as you see that the water on the surface dissipates, um, try sh shaking the bed. If the water doesn't come up, then you're done. Our total brew time is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Mm. Mm. It says here that the notes are grapefruits, stone fruits, green tea, sugar cane, and very juicy. Actually, that is what I'm getting right now it's very juicy but I'm not sure with the other flavor notes but it's very juicy and it's very sweet um actually the sweetness is not like it's not like the red Washington apples it's more like a sweet citrus yeah it's really good um so this um, leaves coffee um, they're from our friends, um, Hans and G. Thank you again for the coffee. Um, they traveled to Japan and then they asked me if, if there is any good coffee in Japan. So I told them, yeah, can you please buy for me? Um, there is this um, coffee shop there. It's Leaves Coffee. Uh, I know that their coffee is really good because I've tried them before. Yeah, something like that. And then so... They asked me what I wanted during the day, yeah, yeah. And then when they got back here in the Philippines, I was asking for how much would I pay because I really wanted the coffee. And then they wouldn't let me pay. So, wow, thank you. Thank you so much for this. Um, again, Hans and G, thank you so much for bringing, bringing the coffee and for giving it to me. For now, I'm going to enjoy this Colombia Finca San Luis from Leaves Coffee, Tokyo, Japan. And... Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Hans and G. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!